What's going on my fellow residents, this is me of Frozen Cavern, and today we're going to continue through our blind journey through Sonic 06. In the last episode, we went through some pretty familiar levels at Shadow, but in this episode, we're going to be going through Tropical Jungle as Rouge, and we're going to be finding Omega. Now, this is kind of similar to something that happened last episode with, not last episode, in Sonic's episode with Tails, but hopefully it actually has some more importance because last episode, or I keep saying last episode for some reason, but Tails, that level for Tails didn't really have too much of an actual importance, so... Let's hope it actually does something for the story here. Oh, this seems like a pretty big area. It also seems like I can just fly past most of this. Unless I actually have to search for something. Well, it did say I have to find Omega, but I don't know if he's just in one specific part. Or if we have to actually do like a bunch of uh, other things in order to, you know, find him. But for now, I can just fly around and hope I find him at some point. This area is actually like really big, which is nice, especially given the uh, type of character that Rouge is, given that she's more of the uh, exploring type. But Knuckles didn't really have anything like that, and he's kind of the same way. Wow, there's a lot of enemies here. Aw, oh, this is only rings. I figured there would have been like a uh, one up here, but yeah. You can't move on until the enemies are gone. Okay, I have to get rid of them then. And there we go. And oh my goodness, frame rate. <laughs> I'm glad that this does lock on pretty well from what I'm noticing. Am I hitting him? I don't think I am. Okay, yeah, his health bar is just really high up for some reason. I don't like that I'm not able to see the health bar sometimes. It doesn't really make too much sense why the health bar is so uh, high up sometimes. Wait, am I about to... I'm about to beat the level, what? Okay, this is actually the shortest level in the entire game. I could have actually done this last episode. Now that I think about that, but there probably would have been a cutscene, so yeah. But I just skipped past most of that. I'll probably get a B rank because I skipped most of the fast stuff here. Psych! Oranus, I'll take it. But again, that was a really short level. Like, I wasn't expecting it to be that short. Maybe it's because I did skip through a lot of stuff there. But at the same time, most of the levels in this game are like between 6 to 10 minutes at best. So, again, it's just surprising to see such a short level. And there's Omega. This is a charming little place. Hi, long time no see. Rouge the Bat. Situation understood. What would you like me to do? Take this and deliver it to Shadow. <laughs> System reactivation countdown initiated. Backup power source. Spare magazine secured. Command program priority changed. New mission shadow support. External access no longer permitted. Confirm. I'm counting on you. I do wish Omega didn't speak so slowly, I know he is a robot, but at the same time, please speak faster. That was a really drawn out cutscene because of that. So, decided to void your return ticket now, did you? Why are you here? Did you ruin this world? The answer is yes. And no. Perhaps it's better to show you.
Yes, that's you. After the world was devastated by Iblis's flames, what do you think happened? A search for the guilty. Who did this, you may ask? Humanity wasn't just jealous of your power, they feared it. They used this incident as an excuse to hunt you down. Come with me, Shadow. Let us punish this foolish world of humanity. It's only fair to give back what was intended for you. You have every right to want justice. That's absurd. Whatever it is you want to do, you can do it alone. You forgive humanity this folly then? I determine my own destiny. So I guess we have a Mephilus boss. That's gonna be interesting. Such foolishness. Very well. Let's see if you can entertain me. Oh, what on earth is this? Okay, that's uh That's horrifying. What on earth was that? <laughs> Don't bother to try and deceive me. Oh, and now he's in my shadow. Okay, that's that's nice. But, I don't know what all these things around me are. I'm trying to look at them, and I think they're supposed to be like little Mephiluses, but probably not. And hitting them, yeah, hitting them doesn't seem to do too much. Um, hmm. I do get a little bit of energy every time I hit one of them, but hitting every single one's gonna take way too long. But, Mephilus is still down there. What happens if I just stand still? Okay, a bunch of Mephiluses or whatever those are just fall to the ground. Okay, I assume that at this point. I've gotta figure out their origin. Yeah, I, I assume that. It has to have something to do with these, but I can't exactly hit these. Does it lock onto them? Nope! 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 It does not lock onto those. Uh, I think they're supposed to be stuck onto me, but like, I think it glitched <laughs> because that does not look like they're stuck onto me. Twelve seconds later. Okay, wow, this increases. This gets a lot of that meter. Okay, so let's see what this does. What? Okay. It's a good thing I figured that out. I figured that out, but my goodness, that that does take a while if you don't do the other way. So at least there's a good incentive to actually use the other uh, version of that. So can I just go up and attack you? Ow. I'm trying to do that, but there we go. Yeah, so I just go up and attack you however many times I'm able to. Ow. His hitbox is a little weird, I won't lie. Alright, do that. I need to make sure I keep the meter up, because I think as long as I'm in this form, uh, he's not able to go back. So I do need to either defeat him as quickly as possible, or uh, make sure I kill the other ones while I'm doing that. His attacks don't come out fast at all though. If they came out faster, he would be a little bit more of a threat. Ow. Come hit him. There we go. Don't kill me. Okay. Uh, I can get him. There we go. Okay, that was easy. It just took trying to find out how to get him. Because it said find the origin, but like, that was a little weird. Omega. Now is designated time. I shall assist. Oh, I... I'm not used to there being two different phases. Shadow. Oh, and now I'm playing as Omega. Okay. Uh... Wow, he moves ridiculously fast. This is like the fastest character in the game. So I guess I just do that. 
a lot of them attached to me though. So I guess I maybe it's better to just stand still. Actually, he's out of the thing, so yeah, I just attack him. It's kind of annoying trying to deal with them whenever they're attached to me though, so yeah. I guess I can literally just uh, loot him, just keep attacking him. Grab the rings though, because if I don't have rings, I'll die. Yeah, like this makes it really easy on all- oh, I didn't notice that. Uh, are there any with target locks? But yeah, if I just go right in front of him and attack him, then he poses basically no threat. Ow. I keep going too far forward and end up uh, bashing my body into him. And right now, the other clones aren't even trying to attack me, so... Yeah, this is actually even easier because you don't even have to figure out the first part. And he's dead. So the second phase was even easier. I won't lie, that was actually a like the first phase was yeah, the first phase was actually pretty cool, but the second phase is disappointing because that was ridiculously easy. I better get an S rank for this. Maybe an A. It took me a while. What the f How did I get a C for this? Okay, I don't know. I don't know how I got a C, but whatever. I couldn't have taken that long. So now we're following him to wherever it is that he's going. I love how all teleportations put us back to this yeah, one here, specific spot. Is no longer here. I will assist in pursuing him. Okay, meet up with Rouge in the warehouse district. Oh, okay, so where we saw Knuckles uh, when we were, uh, when we had to look for the warehouses. There more than likely is something in the item shop though, so I'll need to check that out now. All right, let's go. Omega is gonna be really loud though <laughs> because he just stomps around. Uh, we have the memory shard, which is blue, and then red. So to Chaos Lance, that seems pretty good. Did I get this already? Oh yeah, I did. Oh, this one. Okay, so that's just that. Okay, there we go. It's kind of annoying that Omega's taking up like a good fifth of the screen whenever uh, you start running, but whatever. Just jump over you guys, and there you are. Hi. It seems like Eggman's machines are looking for you. What did you do this time? Nothing. Their target is probably Mephilus. What is Eggman up to? Who is Mephilus? I'm gonna ask him directly. Hey, wait a sec. I can handle this alone. You keep track of Mephilus. Hmm. He finally shows up again. And then he leaves before even saying hello. Well, it seems his little trip hasn't changed him. This is Rouge, G-U-N-H-Q? Yes. Pull all available data on an item called the Scepter of Darkness for me. I'm glad they at least got the Scepter of Darkness part correct this time, and not how they did in the last episode where they called it a book for some reason. Now again, as concept, it was probably a book, and maybe a book is just a little bit harder to animate, I have no idea, but just maybe that's the reason they changed it, or it was just a group decision to have it as a Scepter instead of a book, but 
make sure you check the script before that. The doctor's traveling by train. Shoot, I've got to get to the station. Okay, he's going by train, huh? That means we need to find the same area where he, uh, that one level of Sonic was. Actually, that, oh, we can just go normally. Okay. So when exactly would this be, though? Uh, well, I guess we'll figure that out, like, once, uh, we get through the level. But at the same time, Sonic did end up having a level like this, and, uh, Eggman was, like, in the background, like, kind of taunting us or whatever. So... Like, this is about the same time as that, I think. Ow. And stopping- wait, they both have to stop the train? Okay, well that's weird. You have to destroy the train, okay. So Sonic's plan was to save the train, and Shadows is to destroy it. Oh wait, oh I guess we have to also stop it before it gets destroyed? That's kind of weird. Oh, uh, do I... Oh, I just attacked the train now, okay. Well, I already got that part, so it's fine. Alright, we just need to hurry on along, because given uh, Sonic's episode, that train's not gonna take very long before uh, we actually have to do something, so we need to make sure we hurry that up. No, what? Okay. I don't know why, but Shadow feels like he doesn't have any form of, like, forward momentum when he bounces on a spring. And, yeah, like, he has no forward momentum unless it's actually, like, programmed for him to move forward, which is really weird and does not help me at all. Yeah, yeah, it works the exact same way. Oh my goodness, frame rate, please. Okay, don't bother with this. Keep going. Come on. I have to make sure I don't fall off, though. That's a pretty big priority. Alright, combo this with the super slow, you know, frame rate. No, don't aim at that. Aim at him. There we go. Get that. Wait for the train to stop because I don't know if I can get hit and just do that. There we go. And it seems like one combo is enough to actually take care of that, so. Get rid of these two. There we go. Or there's more. Oh, okay. Another part. Yep, I assume we were using a vehicle, but now we're using a motorcycle. That's interesting. Okay, we'll have cargo. Oh my goodness, this thing controls awfully. Okay, that's what happens. I was wondering if I would just stop, but no. That's not the case. But oh my goodness, this thing controls super awkwardly. Like, it's super hard to stay steady and aim forward. To be honest, it might just be better. Oh, okay. Nope, don't go into the wall. Okay, so that's good. Now we're actually going fast, but considering how this thing steers, that's really bad. Okay, shoot that from behind. So, okay, this I actually don't mind too much. It's just that the controls could be a little bit better. I'm not going to lie. I don't know. Okay, I instantly crashed it. Nice. And unfortunately, there's no faster way to catch up to it than doing this. Game, please give me another bike. A few moments later. I kind of hate the fact that I'm actually keeping up with it. Do I even have to get rid of it? I don't think I do because they haven't given me... Okay, I do have to get rid of it, but they never gave me another bike, so like I couldn't do anything. Okay, we have our bike and hopefully we don't accidentally... I was so close to beating it, I'm very upset by the fact that they don't... They only give me like, what, two bikes in order to do this? But if I crash it, there's nothing I can do. Which is kind of dumb. I figured they would give me at least like maybe one more bike later on, um, down the line, but they never did that. And I was literally like two bullets from actually beating the level two. Wouldn't the door have been easier? So, what do you want now? Who is Mephilus, and why are you trying to capture him? If you want to know, you should go find him yourself. But here's a hint. It's all linked to the Soliana disaster ten years ago. The Solaris Project. 
indeed. When you capture Mephilus, you must bring him to me. Then I'll tell you the truth about Solaris. So we have to somehow capture Mephilus, bring him to Eggman, and then he'll tell us about why he's going after him. But that's literally playing into his hands, so, you know. I knew it! Oh, I knew you'd return. You had to. You again. This time, there will be no more interruptions. The Iblis Trigger must die. Son. All right, and now it's actually time to fight off against Silver in my way. again. So let's hope that this actually goes easier and that uh, I don't get chain looped. On one hand, it will actually be good because I can show that off. But on the other hand, that's bad because I have to redo it. So I don't want to. And again, I do wonder how these are going to play out as Silver. Because, like, Silver, I'm pretty sure, gets beaten by both of them. Oh, I guess he dropped down. I'm just nowhere near him, so I'm not going to try and attack. And attack. There we go. And move. There we go. I just have to be careful and listen for the audio cues. Oh, no. Pick up an object, <laughs> please. This train's in the way as well, which is annoying. No, I wasn't. Okay. I didn't know where he was because the train was in the way. Okay, just run away for now. Wait for him to pick up an object. Yeah. What? He's gonna pick up that? Not actually pick up anything next to him? It's no use. Oh, come on. This area is actually really bad. Okay. There we go. Move. No. Of course. Uh, Might I be able to move when he does this? Yes, I can. I got super lucky there because he can literally just air juggle you to death. Uh, where is he? I think he's next to the train. Or oh, he's right below me. Okay. I'm getting really lucky with these, by the way. Alright, let's just... How am I supposed to do this? Because it seems like he's always where you are, and I did not know I could break those. Okay, get him now. What? Okay, there we go. Uh, needs to move. Oh, I'm moving on the train. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Okay, pick up something, please. That's not me. I hate how he'll sometimes pick up one object. Like, it's really annoying. Alright, pick up those barrels, please. Or not. Just completely run past him. I want him to pick up something, but it's very difficult to actually get him to pick up stuff. Like, he kind of just picks up stuff whenever he feels like it. Alright, and... Did I get him? No. There we go. Alright, got him. Alright, I managed to do that in one try, but at the same time, there were, like, at least two separate occasions where I literally could have just gotten air juggled to death. But overall, this area is worse than Sonic's, because the whole train is... The trains are very annoying because they just block your vision of him. Need to stay focused. I didn't do that bad, okay? <laughs> I feel at least a B is fine. I'm getting C's on levels I feel like I don't deserve C's. And by the way, I feel like as Sonic, I was getting rewarded a lot more on levels. And in Shadow, I'm getting punished a lot more in levels. I don't... I don't know if anyone else feels like that, but I feel like I'm getting treated that way. Control. Y you don't. 
don't bother. With a Chaos Emerald's power, I control time and space. You can't break free. I won't give up. It all depends on me. Can't lose. Not when I'm so close. Ah! Chaos. Chaos control. control! Huh? You induced chaos control. I won't let anyone get in my way. I'll change the past and save the world! Mephilus isn't trying to help you create a better future. He's trying to eliminate the past. What? What are you talking about? To discover what happened, it seems we must see what took place ten years ago. Follow me if you want the truth. But how do we know that this is exactly 10 years back? And CGI now, but... Unless he was planning on doing that, which is really specific, but... He also didn't have two Chaos Emeralds on him, which is very convenient that Silver had one. Listen to my voice. Father! Elise! Is it just me, or or is the CGI not as good as all of it was in Sonic Story? Like, I felt like all of the CGI in Sonic Story was amazing, but that one particular scene wasn't as good. Mephilus, but now we need to go scared. after Mephilus, but we're going to be saving that for next episode. And I w There's probably a wall here. Yes, there is. Okay, I want the camera to be facing the character. But anyways, next episode, we're going to be following Mephilus in the aquatic base. But until the next video, take care.